Hi, Storytime lovers. Do you ever get bored? If you do, then you have something in common with my children, who more often than not come up to me sighing, Mummy, I'm bored. Funnily enough, for most parents, boredom is a luxury they crave for. But for children, boredom is a terrible, terrible thing that they try to avoid by any means. And by looking at today's book cover, I think you can guess that Mr. Patches is no stranger to the state of boredom. Just look at this dejected cat, wearily counting the days with his bored claws on the green wall behind him. Before we find out just how he goes about looking for adventure, let me introduce you to the dream team behind Mr. Patches is Bored. This team comes to us straight from Amsterdam in the Netherlands and it is composed of three super talented people Nick, the writer, Julie, the illustrator and Millie, the editor. They have self-published this first book and you know how much I like debut authors. Mr. Patches is Bored is an absolute gem of comedy and hilarity so please, please, please visit their website to get your own copy of Mr. Patches is Bored. And now, let's find out what Mr. Patches has been up to in his living room. Before we begin, here's a thing you should know. All cats are amazing, as far as cats go. They're soft and they're cuddly, they're nimble and quick, with hair long or short and with tails that they flick. But here is a fact that you might not have known. Cats can get bored when they're left all alone. Like this cat right here, he's as bored as he looks. He's got nothing to watch and he's read all his books. Now, can you guess his name? Do you know what it is? It is Patches the Cat, and this story is his. Mr. Patches, you see, is not run of the mill. He catches his mice with incredible skill. His fur is exquisite, his whiskers, they gleam. His meows are like music, his purring supreme. But even this cat, with his talents galore, begins each new day thinking life is a chore. Every morning I wake, I sit, then I eat, then I take a long nap, then I lick clean my feet. My pillow's too soft. Ah, oh, this cat and mouse game. I'm bored of it all. It's too much of the same. My days are so long and it makes me so sad. Where are the adventures that I've never had? Enough is enough. This is getting me down. Let's look for excitement in my little town. For the whole of this week, I'll give boredom the slip. I will play, have a blast, meet new friends, let it rip. Out the door, he then walked with his cart on his heels. A week of adventures. Let's see how that feels. On Monday, he played with the Archibald Foxes. Now I am the king of this castle of boxes. On Tuesday, he went riding out on the range with a big pair of boots on a moose for a change. On Wednesday, he climbed to the top of a tree and needed three firemen to help set him free. On Thursday, he rented a shiny red bike and flew through the air with a big dog named Spike. On Friday, he studied a map he had found and spent the whole day digging deep underground. On Saturday, he primped for the big county fair where he won the first prize for cats with the best hair. 
Then Sunday saw him get his ultimate wish to go to the zoo and to look at the fish. His week of excitement had come to an end. Mr. Patches had made adventure his friend. He skipped and he hopped, and then home he returned, his little red cart filled with things he had earned. Look at all my adventures! They sure weigh a ton. What a great time I've had! It has been so much fun! But now that I'm home, won't I be bored again? If I just sit and eat and do nothing, what then? Yet, here is a fact that cannot be ignored. I would not have gone out if I had not been bored. Being bored got me friends, brought me joy, set me free. Bored is not bad. It is good. Now I see. If I had not been bored, there'd be no need to roam, and it wouldn't feel good to then finally come home. So, I am glad I was bored. Purr. Yawn. Meow. But I'm done with adventures, at least for now. The end for now. So now you know the well-kept secret of boredom. Boredom is not an endless series of dull days, but rather an infinite source of inspiration and possibilities. So the next time you feel bored, let your imagination take you on an adventure. Try something new, do a marvelous drawing, write a fantabulous story, or build an unparalleled monument with your construction toys. Or you can try this little game that I created just for you. It's called the rhyming game. Have you ever noticed that when you read rhyming stories, you always end up knowing them by heart? Well, let's see if you can finish the rhymes of these sentences from Mr. Patches' board. Let's start with an easy one. Like this cat right here. He's bored as he looks. He's got nothing to watch and he's read all his books. Every morning I wake, I sit, then I eat, then I take a long nap, then I lick clean my feet. My days are so long and it makes me so sad. Where are the adventures that I've never had? On Wednesday, he climbed to the top of a tree and needed three firemen to help him set him free. My second game is called A Souvenir a Day Keeps Mr. Patches Away. The thing is, to play this game, you'll need your own copy of Mr. Patches' board because you have to spot with keen eyes the clues left by the illustrator. Each day of the week, so from Monday to Sunday, Mr. Patches keeps a souvenir that he puts in his adventure cart. Can you find all seven of them? I'll start you off. On Monday, after playing King of the Castle of Boxes with the foxes, he keeps the crown. Now, your turn. On Tuesday, after riding out on the range, he keeps and so on until Sunday. And when you find all the souvenirs, let me know in the description box below. Last but not least, you should know you can listen to a much better read aloud of Mr. Patches' board on the book's official website done by the author himself. Let me know if you enjoyed this story as much as I did. Take care, read on, and see you soon.